So, you want to get that perfect game bonus, huh? But keep running into issues with photos, or not getting crucifix objective, or can't get the ghost to blow out a freaking candle. Well, let me show you the steps I take to try and help me get a perfect game every single time. Let's talk about photos. Candles, salt, events, interactions, bone and cursed items all make up great photos. Just be careful of taking photos of the timed event stuff, like ghost events. They can disappear at the wrong moment and cost you your game. Candles, salt, bone, and cursed are always your best bets. So you can get that three star photo. Getting that elusive ghost photo. You can just take random pics, hoping to get it, but you're going to ruin the perfect game doing it. Safe ways to get it are the ghost events that where the ghost is just standing still, letting you take your time and get the pic, or pentagrams or music box photo if you time it right, right when you uh, start the event. Stay away from walking events, dots, or hunts. Hard to time those right and they end up disappearing and you miss it. Dots are glitchy at the best of times and half the time they don't even count. Walking events can get you closer than you expected and disappear and hunt events trying to time the blink just right for that one single ghost pick is just too sketchy. Don't mess with it, don't try it. Easiest way to get to cleanse the area near the ghost with smudge, wait for the hunt. The ghost is going to come at you, smudge it, go hide, you get, and you get the objective. Motion sensor objective is pretty easy also. Put it in a doorway, wait for the ghost to hunt, and then you just gotta wait for it to walk it through. If you get lucky, it might get it before that, but other than that, just wait for the hunt, he'll walk through it and you get it. Parabolic's pretty easy also. Find your ghost, get your evidence, and then at the end, grab a smudge stick, lighter, and your parabolic, sit a couple of rooms away, and just sit there and wait until you get the parabolic. Pretty easy. EMF is probably the easiest objective. If you walk around with the EMF in the beginning, you're going to get it just by finding the ghost. So don't worry about this one, just walk around and get the EMF. Sanity below 25%. Easiest way is using the cursed items, touching a ghost during an event, or getting a ghost mist. Other than that, it's just sit and wait. There are some ghost behaviors that might help you with this also, but the good cursed items for this would be Ouija, Mirror, uh, Voodoo, Saint Monkey Pot, and Pent. The bad ones would be Music and Tarot cards. Blowing out candle. You've got four of them, put them all over the room, you'll get it sooner or later, or just walk around. Enjoy. Escape during a hunt, repel the ghost with a smudge, and also you can add in the cleanse the room. All of these can be done at the same exact time, which is lovely when you when you see these three objectives come up on the board for your game, you know it's gonna be a, a much easier time getting your perfect game. But all you gotta do is just wait for the ghost to get close enough to you, hit the smudge, get to your hiding spot, and voila, you've got all three of your objectives done, and you are off to, in a way to get your perfect game. So now we're up to crucifix. Crucifix can be tricky. If you're in a small room, it's pretty easy. Put it down, make sure that you put it down in the center room, take a look at the circle that's equipped with it, make sure the circle's covering all the corners, all that kind of good stuff. If you're in a bigger room, like in the cabins, make sure that both your crucifixes are covering every little space you might not be able to cover the corners and the ghost might end up going there. Can't help it, it sucks. And the bigger areas like gymnasiums, auditoriums, things like that, prison cells, just get your crucifixes in the area where the ghost is appearing most or doing most at and hopefully you'll get your crucifix that way. Witnessing ghost event. This one is sometimes hard. You need either the ghost mist, the ghost standing and walking events, but if you get the pentagram or the music box, this makes it real easy. Doing these and getting the ghost to appear counts as an event. So get those and good luck. Well, there you have it. Those are the ways that when I want to get a perfect game, those are the guidelines I kind of try to go with to try to make sure that I don't screw it up, which of course I screw it up all the time. And then sometimes of course the game screws up. We can do the best we can with, you know, not taking the photos or things that we know will glitch and sometimes they still glitch. We've all had it happen. But if that's uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys like the video. I know it's a small little thing for you to click that button. It means a lot to me. Also, subscribe to the channel. And then if you really want to be up to date on when I put stuff out, which is between one to three times or more a week, depending on shorts and things like that, click that bell. And other than that, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. And remember, I also stream live on Twitch and YouTube Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time.
But I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye. Peace.